Okay, guys, so what I want to do in this video is um, extend the functionality of our data table. So as you know, our data table here is from tree view, so it has all the methods of a tree view, but we're going to add more into it so it can take a data frame. So the first method uh, we're going to implement is def under set underscore data table. Self and a data frame are going to be the parameters. So what should happen is you provide this data table with a um, data frame and it should store it and then it should draw the table out so that it shows in the user interface. So self dot stored underscore data frame equals data frame. And self dot underscore, this is another um, class we're going to create. So self dot draw underscore table. And that's going to take in a data frame as well. So that's a private method, hence the underscore. Okay, so now we're going to implement that. So now def underscore draw underscore table. Again, it's going to take in self and data frame. So now the reason why I'm putting the functionality of this here is because we're going to need to reuse this draw table method later on. Okay, so now what this should do is this should actually draw out the table into the user interface. So firstly, it's going to clear itself. So it's going to clear any items in the tree view. Star self dot get children. And then the columns will be equal to list. So we're going to get the columns of the data frame. And then we're going to um, set some of the attributes of the tree view widget itself. So sorry, let me just remove that. Okay, so then self dot underscore underscore set item. This is also known as a subscription. We're going to set the column attribute equal to the columns. Self dot underscore underscore set item. Show attribute is going to be equal to headings. So this removes the blank space, the blank space allocated to icons um, more formally. Stand for col, so for column in columns, self.heading. So we're going to create headings for these columns, and the text of it is going to be equal to um, the column name from a data frame. And then df underscore rows is equal to data frame dot two underscore numpy. So we convert it to a numpy array and then we convert it to a list two underscore or two list. Sorry. Okay. So then it's like a list of lists which contains all of the information in our rows. And then for row in uh, df underscore rows self dot insert so we can access inserts because we're inheriting from tree view there's going to be no parent widget it's going to be at the end of the tree view and the values are going to equal row okay i'm just going to return them to the end this okay cool so that's how we're going to draw our table and then we're going to do two more um, methods so the next method is going to be reset table. So reset underscore table. So they, basically this will bring the table back to its original state. And all we need to do is self dot underscore draw underscore table. So we're going to call this method. And we're just going to um, draw the data frame that we have stored in memory. So that will be this one here. And these methods might not seem as clear now, but as I go to create the bindings, it'll be a lot more clearer. And the last one is going to be called find um, values. So def find underscore values. So it's going to take in self and pairs. And pairs is basically going to be a dictionary. So pairs is a dictionary. Okay. So basically new underscore data frame is equal to self dot store data frame. So we're going to take the reference of the store data frame and then for column value 
in pairs dot item. So basically for each um, column value reference in the pairs, we're going to look that up. So how we do that is we're going to create a query underscore string. That's going to be an F string with the column dot str dot contains the value. Okay, and this query string is basically going to be used for the data frames um, method called query. So new df is basically going to equal new underscore df dot query the query string and the engine is going to be equal to Python. Okay, so yep, and then we just need to draw the table. So self dot underscore draw table and it's going to take in the new underscore data frame. So that's how it's going to draw the table after every search we do. So um, how this is meant to be implemented is if I run this, effectively what's going to happen is the user is going to drop a data frame in the list box. You can double click on it and then it's going to show up here. So the, the data frame is going to appear in the tree view widget. Now what this is going to do is when the user enters a pair such as name equals apple, what's going to happen is is it's going to run this function each time. Each it's going to go through iterate over these pairs each time. So it's going to get the column, which is name. Sorry, something's in the way. It's going to get the column, which is name, and the value, which is apple. And then it's going to check the data frame for any string that contains apple in the column name. And it's going to create a new data frame from that. And it's just going to keep creating new data frames until we've finished um, looking over the whole string and it's going to draw that table so that it shows to the user. So now this is pretty much our data table done. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to implement it from the search page.